Hey YouTube, what's up? I figured it's about time that I let you guys know about my first impressions of my boyfriend, aka Jeremy, aka Jer, also known as Beep2 to many of you guys. I did rewatch Jer's video and it's funny how some of the first impressions he had of me were very similar to the ones that I had of him. But I do remember the first time we met and it was in a class during my fall semester of my sophomore year at UMass. And we actually met because there was a girl that we both had kind of befriended and she sat in between the two of us. So she spoke with me and she would spoke with, she would spoke with, wow, I should probably go back to college. So she would speak with me, she would speak with Jer, and then eventually we kind of started speaking to each other. The first time that I recall meeting him, it was a few weeks into the semester and I wasn't out yet, but oh my God, he was so cute. Wow, that is a cute boy. And he was a year younger than me. He was a freshman, I was a sophomore, but he seemed so cool and confident. I remember he walked in and he used to wear this bandana, which like was a little bit corny, but he pulled it off because he was just like, you know what? I wear bandanas and that's my look. I also remember that he had almost a full beard. It didn't connect here, but mine still doesn't connect here. And I remember thinking that that was so cute that he was like trying really hard to grow a beard. And it still looked really good. Like he he had the fun. And as you guys know, that's a big turn on for me. Furry guys, hairy guys, beards, chest hair. Even though it was something I was still kind of sorting out my brain, I had this like subliminal attraction to him that was just there. I couldn't control it. And it's funny that in his video he said that he wasn't confident and that he was, oh, I'm just like a lowly freshman and I don't know what I'm doing with my life. And he thought that I knew what I was doing and no, there was no way I did. And the reason why that's funny is because I thought the same thing about him. He didn't necessarily have like a career trajectory, which I guess at that time I thought I did, but just in general, the way he carried himself and the way that he spoke with ease and he wasn't awkward and we had conversations and it was easy. I was like, damn, like this kid, he's he's going places. So my first impressions of Beep 2 were that he was cute, stylish, confident, and I liked him. After we had decided that we were going to move in together the following semester because my roommate was moving out, we had to submit paperwork for him to move into my dorm room. And I'm usually a pretty punctual person. I don't like being late, it gives me anxiety. So whenever I agree to meet somewhere, I'm usually at least five or 10 minutes early. So I went to the office where we were supposed to meet. And I was sitting there waiting 10 minutes early, five minutes early, then it hits the time we're supposed to be there. And then finally he shows up maybe 10 or 15 minutes late and he's running down the hallway and he's like, I am so sorry. I was downtown and the bus was running late. I just didn't know what to do. So I just stayed on the bus and I was like, dude, it's it's fine, it's not a big deal. And it was the cutest thing ever. And it made me realize like most people would show up late and just be like, sorry, not sorry. And he was just so conscientious about it. Conscientious, conscientious, that's not how you say it. He was conscientious about it and he was apologetic. And it just made me appreciate the fact that he valued my time and I valued his. I will say though that I am glad that I had not come out before we met. If I had been out and he had been out, maybe things would have gone differently for us. Maybe we would have just been, you know, a quick hookup or something, flirtation, but nothing would have developed from it. I mean, who's to know? Maybe maybe we would have just started a relationship six months earlier, I, I don't know. But I'm really glad with the way things did turn out because he was my partner in crime as a college student and as a roommate and as a friend and then as a best friend and then as my life partner. And we came out together, we went through the process together, we were each other's support systems, and I'm glad that my first impression of him was accurate. He is a super sweet boy and a super kind man, and he continues to be those things to this day, and I know he will continue to be those things every day for the rest of our lives. So I love you, Beep, too. Um, <laughs> I never address you as Beep, too, in real life. We just Beep to each other. I love you so much, Jer. Thanks for putting your best foot forward every day, and I get to enjoy your presence every day of my life. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. That was my first impression of Beep 2. Let us know what your first impressions of us were all the way back in early 2015 when we were super awkward sitting in front of the camera being like, we don't even know the name of our channel yet. Uh, in the comment section below. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. I'm Beep, I'm one Beep, peacing out, Beeps out. And if you haven't yet, check out Jer's first impression of me. You can click the button right here. First impressions of my boyfriend video part one, where he talks about how cool I was back in college and why he was so overwhelmed when he first met me. And then he realized that I was just a weirdo and somehow he decided to stay with me anyway. Hmm. Bye guys.